Guys, what's up? It is Doug from Trigger King doing a video here that has been requested. I've been meaning to do for a while. I have the new J Concept Slam Tech Close Cell Foams. Gonna show you how to mount those in a set of tires. Uh, right here, I actually have the Firestorm Racer, uh, the brand new tires, and I have them in the gold compound. Uh, that's important because that's the harder ones to mount uh, versus the blue compound ones, which are a little softer. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, now here we have the Slam Techs right here, and we have the tire. Um, the Firestorm Racer with the stock foam in it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Pardon the bench here. I'm building that low Z LMT right now, so I've got stuff everywhere here. Um, but let's talk about this while I do this here. So you're going to remove this first. You're gonna remove the stock foam. Let me set this over here. And you'll kind of pull this out. So the thing is, these are the gold compound tires. And the gold compound is tougher to work with than the blue. The blue is a softer compound and it's quite a bit more pliable of a tire. So you're gonna to have to struggle a little bit more. I actually chose this one, the gold, because it's a little bit harder to do. So here you got the foams. And if you're curious why you would do this, look at this here. So the closed cells, um, the one piece here, they're ribbed and they're very strong, right? You're not gonna move them very much versus how soft these are here. And it's one of the biggest upgrades you can make if you are doing some solid axle RC monster truck racing is to put these type of uh, you know closed cell foams versus versus the standard foams. The reason for that is when the truck is bouncing or jumping, uh, there really isn't much bounce because these hold tight. And there's actually normally I'll show you in a minute here a little pocket of air that develops uh, between this and the tire, and it just allows a little bit of give. And that suspension, it just falls down here like this, and the suspension will totally absorb the blow versus the little bit of bouncing you would get otherwise with the um, the tire on the foam on it. Uh, it is a huge difference when you're driving the trucks. I went to closed cell foams, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and it's hard to drive a racing solid axle monster truck if you don't have them. So I'm so happy J Concepts has released the Slam Tech, uh, the inserts here. All right, now for the fun part, let's get them in here. And uh, you know, I don't know uh, an easy trick to this, uh, just FYI, I think that's why a lot of people asked on it. I've asked my buddies to put this in. You kind of got to brute force them. I'm going to like to bend it like this. I think that helps a little bit. Kind of want to bend that lip out, the internal lip. And again, the gold ones are really hard <laughs> to mount here. I actually did uh, the other pair of these off camera. And there you go. Once you start to get it in there a little bit, you just kind of work it around. And you got to kind of massage it a little bit here. Again, I'm not saying I'm the best at doing this, but you guys ask, I'll show you how I do it. And the end result, it works out. Again, these are the, the gold compounds are just kind of tricky to work with uh, versus the blue. They're harder because it's a harder compound. Okay. And you're just gonna work it around. You wanna make sure it gets in there okay. Um, you can see here how it is. That's a solid tire here. Let's put it on the uh, tribute wheel. Here you go. These actually aren't too hard to mount now once you get them in the wheel. You just kinda wanna work it around here as best you can. You get that bead to break through. <clears throat> Tell you what, these gold ones, boy, these are hard tires to do this to, but the end result is worth it. There you go. You just want to seat that bead. You want to make sure, like in here, the bead isn't set right. <clears throat> Your hands feel great after doing a set of four of these, let me tell you. Oops. There you go. Now, the nice part about these, once you get them on, gluing these is actually pretty easy. Now, I use rubber bands, regardless of the rubber bands you put on the outside of tires to glue, but as long as you're using the J Concepts, everything, they fit on the tribute wheels good, and it makes for a nice, tight bead on these things. So that's what's really nice. I find with these things, they're very easy to glue. So look at it one way. They're hard to get the foams in, but once you do, um, much easier, much easier to glue. 
I think, than the standard ones, just because the natural pressure that it puts on the, um, the sidewall puts on the, the bead of the wheel. And to show you guys the finished one here, uh, of course, this is the one I just mounted, but I actually already have, um, this is a gold compound one. I've started painting the wheels, and uh, this is a finished one here, all glued up. I don't have the um, the back on it yet, the uh, the adapter for the offset, but that's what it looks like done. So that's it, guys. Again, uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but it is well, well worth it because the trucks handle amazing with closed cell phones on them. And once you handle, really, I say for racing, but even for bashing, uh, closed cell foams are fantastic. So uh, once you use them on a solid axle monster truck, it's very hard to go back in my opinion and uh, you know all my racing buddies. So very happy J Concepts uh, came out with the Slam Tech insert. A lot of guys are gonna start running them now. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Can't wait to run these tires uh, this summer with Trigger King. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any more ideas, you want me to show you how to do certain things, um, you know, little tip videos, whatever, uh, drop them below. Always read the comments. Thank you guys very much and I'll see you soon.